What's up guys, we're back here, and we're back into some modded Slay the Spire. So, we've done two rounds as the mime. I think we're gonna go back, go back into some of these other ones. Uh, I wanna get back all the way around to the defect. Uh, after getting our crazy mime run, uh, I wanna get back to some of the cards and test out some of the stuff I've seen. So, Ironclad. Um, let's go ahead, Additional, obtain an additional starter relic. Ooh. I almost want the rare card, but we'll do another starter relic. Oh! Crash the game. Alright, we are back with Ironclad. Oh, we still got it, though. Nostalgia. Pompica. Oh. Pfft. Let's abandon. Well, let's abandon this run. It doesn't make sense, because Nostalgia should give us another starter relic. So, that one kind of, uh... Does it work? Now this might uh, mess up where we don't get any good. Yeah, we don't get any good trades now. It's fine. We could have went to the first boss, but no reason to. Okay. We're gonna go try to kill an elite. Uh, there's a chance to get this one. And it's a pretty good path anyway, just in general. Hi, bro. It's been a while since I played the Ironclad. He's my least favorite. But I'm the best with him, which makes no sense. Uh, take a uh, thunderclap there. A little bit of vulnerability. Two for one on the war cry. Pain havoc. Not really. Perhaps you can steal it. No, not really anything here I'm interested in. Almost the two for one. Like two war cries could be good. Carve from into your draw pile. Exhaust. Your hand to the top of your draw pile. Like, it's good, but not not good enough. A uh, man sits to the ground next to the wall. His clothes are in tatters, and his hair is frazzled. He's scribbling on the wall. Update body text, update body text, update body text. Update body text. So as you approach, the man turns to you, seeing his hands, runs into you, and grabs you by the shoulders. His eyes bulge out of his sockets. Update body text, update body text, update body text, update body text. Update body text? All right, so I think this is where... When they were trying to uh, mod the game and had bugs and stuff. And I think this is a uh, thing that stems from that. We got a card. It has to be 1 to 10 cards. I think we'll do the 1 to 10 so we can see, yeah, some different stuff. Mutimesis or Hemokinesis. Or, yeah. Uh, 8 damage. So charge. 8 damage for each turn of combat. Pommel strike. Strike from hell, 8 damage, this card is exhausted, increased by 4, and place it back into your hand. Interesting. Limb from limb, 24 damage, at least 30 unblocked damage, refund 2, and draw 2 cards. Interesting. Curse of curse. Apply 1 Langrid and 2, what is it, Descript? Interesting. Uh, Langrid, uh, deal 1 damage less by their attacks per stack. Reduced by 1 at the end of a turn. Fires affected by the Descript suffer from one extra damage from attack for each stack. Interesting. Turn retain up to one card. Next turn. I mean, these are interesting. I think Limb from Lin is the most interesting one here. I think we'll try that. Okay. Oh, this was a fight, so that means our Elite will not be free. So getting Strength and Vulnerability will play into the one we picked up. Block is broken this turn, deal 18 damage to the attacker. Interesting. What's the upgrade on that? 22? It doesn't reduce, though. I think I'll try that. It's a pretty interesting defensive card. Okay. So we will just strike you. Heal back up. Um. Take an armament. Alright, got the sentries here. So for this to be efficient. We need, like, vulnerability on a target. So, for the first turn, we are not going to worry about it. Yeah, vulnerability and strength is what we'll play into this. So, this will actually do a ton of damage to them. So, we'll do that first. And we'll strike one of these guys. And it's random. Okay. Let's get all their that off. Get some vulnerability there. Do that. Upgrade a card in your hand for the rest of combat. Well, it's the same amount of blocks. We might as well. OK. 
Okay. Yeah, I feel like the ironclad set of cards are the least interesting. Like, they're all mostly damage-based kind of cards. They, uh, like, they're forward front frontal damage. Uh, there's some interesting block synergies and, you know, strength gain, but they're not very, like, strange, comparatively. Uh, draw two cards. So, and I can kill this one. But, I guess I'll just strike him. I was trying to think of, like, the best way to do that, but it was, the only way was very uninteresting. And then, well, let's do this. So the, the downside to the explosive barrier is if it's not, like, broken, it doesn't really do anything else. It just kind of exists at that point. Limb for limb. Okay, Omamori, negate the next two curses that you obtain. Um, I'm thinking maybe Strike from Hell. Well, I don't have a good way to exhaust it yet. Like, Strike from Hell, maybe some Havocs and stuff could be interesting. Alright, Dark Embrace, whenever card is exhausted, draw one. Interesting. Private Reserve, Enhance Ability, game one. Focus or 10 temporary HP. Don't have enough for that one. Uh, Bag of Marbles could be good just to apply the one vulnerability to all the enemies. In case we get limb from limb on the first turn. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Let's go here. I want a smith. If I upgrade this, does it reduce the amount you need? No, it still increases it. But not by, by only two while it goes up by four. Let's do that. I think that'll make the most sense for what we're doing currently. Okay. I, I'm going to continue this question mark path. Like... It's kind of nice. There's a very a lot of interesting things based on the uh, mods. Duct tape. Choose two cards and combine them. Ooh. That's an interesting one. I bet it'll keep the cost increase. I don't know in what way they're applied. Like, if I did Thunderclap and Limb from Limb, is it going to make it a four-cost card? Um, that's a hard one. Hmm. I don't really have good duct yeah, duct tape cards. I guess we'll do that. And see what it is. I wanna read it now. Yeah, four cost. Yeah, it does them both. One after the other. Interesting. I'm hoping that this makes uh that card work every time. Oh, it's a mimic. So uh strike from hell. Oh, we can actually get the treasure this time. Last time we fought a Mimic, we had uh, the goo where we couldn't gain uh, money. Armaments, let's upgrade. We're going to have two more, so the Bash would be the best one. Get the extra vulnerability. I wonder if you upgrade... Uh, so I can't play this now, is the downside to it. Um, I wonder if we... I think it is already considered upgraded too. So I don't know if it would do actually anything at this point. Um, 10 damage. We'll take it for now. I kind of want to gain a little bit of money off of this. Strike from hell. That. And boop. Okay. So we need 9 more damage. Should be easy enough. Actually, we'll just do this. Oh, I should have seen if the armaments gave us more coins. I mean, one of those interesting things to find out. Ooh. He's hit me a pretty good bit this turn. So what I'm feeling like is I actually need to murder Kate him. Alright, Tiger Mobile. At the start of combat, add a random card which exhausts to your hand. Interesting. Fire Potion, and then... Ooh, there's Demon Form. Demon Form's really good. Let's go for it. Ooh, a bunch of little boys. Alright, well I think... I should do this. Then we'll offering. And yeah, let's get out demon form. Seems like a pretty interesting way to go about this one. Yep, that's kind of what I was hoping for. Get one of these boys dead. Alright, so. Five. I should definitely, yeah. Do a pretty good bit of upgrading. I mean, blocking, not upgrading. Increases damage by four. 
What does this upgrade do? This card also increases damage by four and place it back in your hand. Place it. Oh, it costs zero next time. Interesting. Not really. I just want something that does more damage in general. Go with a strike. So eight damage. Still can't really kill one of them. Uh, we will kill one actually. How much is this? Uh, six poison. So what we'll do is we'll go eight plus the six poison. Keep ourselves alive. Yeah. All right. Seven damage. Nine damage. So this one can outright kill him. The bash won't quite kill this one. So what we're gonna do is strike. Armament up to defend. These fights can be really rough for uh, like starting out. Okay. I hate that our duct taped card did cost more. I kind of, I did say that though. Like I kind of expected it to. Flex, rage, no, not really. Let's go for this. So find some stuck rocks. Lose, defend, upgrade, defend. We'll upgrade it. I don't see why not. Uh, I am gonna avoid the elite. What happens if I upgrade this? It would upgrade the Thunderclap. Eh. Not really. I'd rather upgrade the armaments, I think. Go ahead and get that done. Find a relic. Ooh, we could take a lot of damage here, though. Ugh. It's only what I got. Wasted it. Couldn't go any deeper, though. So 25 HP against the Storyteller. So this is a modded, uh, modded character. Okay. It's permanently removed from your deck. Ooh. I mean, I should play it. I'll do a strike. Yeah. Confirm that. And then bash. And that's it. Okay. Encounter something relenting, slothful, or heartless. Um, I think slothful is what I want. Yep. Okay, demon form. Works for me. Let's me get out some of this. Obtain a relic, add a copy of doubt. I want the relic. Okay, so what relic did we get? Letter opener. Interesting. Every three skills you play. Uh deals two damage, it looks like. And I guess we'll strike. We need to kill the log of Ulin. All right, any other mushrooms, take 12 damage, add two spreading infection. Ugh, guess we'll anger the mushroom. Not really what I'm wanting. This could get kind of bad for us pretty quickly. I really want to kill, I guess I could have killed them and saved four, but you know what? We need to heal the tin. Grab the banana. Okay, 12 healing. Kill this. Does add vulnerability to us. But he'll break this and take 18. Ooh. Um. Oh, crap. I guess the weak. Which is not really what I want. Alright, so he's gonna knock us down some. Do that. Oh, I should have used the, this and applied vulnerability to him. Fight the beasts. Oh, man. Problem is also, I have, like, zero AoE damage. I, I can kill Log of Ulin, I think, yeah. But I can't really defend afterwards. It'd be better for me to just do a full defend and maybe blow up one of these louses. Let's try this. 20 defense. Kill the louse. But I think, I think I'm still dead. Boom. Yep. Th that deck wasn't very, very cohesive on what it was doing. We'll try one more. Like the duct tape, limb from limb thing didn't really work. But we get to do this again. Encounter a random event. Let's try that. Granted. Oh. Lose bash or upgrade bash. 
guess we'll upgrade it. So I got a free upgrade. Okay. Ooh, there's a fun question mark path. I don't know if question mark path is the best path to go through, really. But in my opinion, it's the most fun. You get the most interesting stuff. Bash and strike. So what the upgraded bash will let us do is um, play a little bit more aggressively to start out with. So I think that'll be a good thing for us to have. I always like lean towards Thunderclap. It's a really good card. Apply one vulnerable to all enemies and an AoE. However, I think I'll go with the armament. It's a little, like a little safer, but should be fun. Oh, let's transform a card. Let's play wild. Ooh, I have no idea what that is. Eclipse. Exhaust your hand and replace it with a random card that costs one less than normal. Exhaust. Hmm. Okay. We'll gain the gold. Especially with a shop coming up. I wanted to see... I have to go in here and do it. If you upgrade it, it refunds one. Interesting. I mean, this would just make a hand of zero cost, wouldn't it? No, it makes so they're zero from what they would normally be. So what I would do is ready in action. Strike from hell, because it'll be and it'd be exhausted. Or or they don't exhaust. Interesting. Okay. So we retain the heavy blade, it'll be zero now. <laughs> oh. So the problem with this while it may be kind of interesting, it doesn't play very well into the way I play this game. I'm not very good at the uh, gain a bunch of random cards and know what to do with them. Okay, Champion Shield. Each piece of 50%, you're immune to debuffs from enemies. Okay. If you during, during your turn, gain twice as much block. You lose HP during your turn. Interesting. So I think the champion shield sounds good. And then maybe a shrug. Eh, well we already got one. I think we're good. Just fifty percent lance dan like Ironclad's always pretty low health in my opinion. So I feel like he can really put that to use. Alright, let's try this elite. I mean might as well play Eclipse to start off with. See what this gives us. Okay, so power. Powers are pretty good. Now, one thing I want to check is that cost one less than normal. I wonder if they cost that much for the rest of combat, which it looks like they do. Okay, I need to upgrade armament. That's one of the things I do. Defend. Let's get it. full block. Because if so, the kind of the goal would be, yeah, to get back to the card you make zero. Okay. I oh, I had one more energy I could have played with. Since the I I was uh, under the impression I didn't because I had played three cards already. Might as well do that. Oh, I had two more energy. I could have drew one more card. Making all kinds of bad plays. Okay. Where am I getting all this extra energy from? I guess this is because I'm not used to having so many zero cost cards in my deck. Rampage, strike, strike. Um, defend. And then I think we'll get out of this pretty swimmingly. In terms of like how much damage we took. Not bad. Sticky explosion. Apply aftershock to the first monster each combat. After three turns, deal 30% of all un unblocked attack damage taken to all enemies. Ooh, so that kind of makes you want to focus. Uh, I really like Carnage. It's a good card. Okay, so we'll start with an Eclipse. Seems pretty smart. Okay, Exhaustive 2. 5 block. Okay, so that one wasn't that great. And the, Oh, Aftershock, okay. Does Aftershock go down? after? Oh, after 2 turns, okay. Carnage, and then we will do a shrug. Yeah, that's the one thing about the modded stuff is it's kind of hard to, you know, figure out a hundred percent what you're doing because there's so much stuff you're stacking. A lot more reading. Um, 
I don't think I want any of that. I almost took another shrug, but I don't think it's necessary. Golden egg. Whenever you add a rare card to your deck, it is upgraded. Whenever you purchase a card from the shop, it's upgraded. Pretty good one. So we'll go with the full bash. And then I'm going to upgrade the shrug. Maybe not for now, but I don't feel like this fight's going to go... I guess it's not going to go super long anyway. So it didn't matter. Limb from limb, no. Um, no. I thought just because there's so many, like, exhaustive cards in the Ironclad set that that could be interesting. Also, adding some more cards that benefit from exhaust could be good. Non-attack cards. Okay, we should play this. I guess that was not attack, but it's either I'd had a uh, exhaust one of the two. Where they get the damage in? So the rolls haven't been too bad for us. In terms, okay, I could play this. Yeah, it kills them. What am I even thinking? Why am I even reading? All right, I got the dream catcher, which is whenever you rest, you may add a card to your deck. All right, hemogen hemogenesis. Field. Deal 5 damage, gain 5 block, heal 5 HP, exhaust. Each time you lose HP while it's in your hand. Hmm. I have to take it because it's a rare card. That sounds awesome. Alright, we've seen funnel at the end of your turn. Unused energy is converted to 4 block. Okay, fire breathing. Ready to action. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think in bag of prep, start combat, have two additional cards. It's a pretty good one right there. All right. I guess, yeah, because if we get Eclipse in the first turn, which seems pretty common. And I think another good thing we could do is try to get some more stuff that benefit um, from being exhausted. Because like we're doing right now, we are exhausting pretty much a whole hand. There we go. Oh, lifeblood potion. I think it's better than the flex potion. Or is that that was might not have been flex. Might have been vulnerability potion. Uh oh wait. Yeah. I think we're gonna spin this into an exhaust deck. Cause we get a lot of exhausty ish cards. Okay. Well, do I exhaust this whole hand? I think so. I mean, it's an odd one, but deal one damage two times, one to script. Interesting. I don't know what the point of that one is. Infernal Blade, Drop Kick, Wild Strike. I don't know if he could really kill this, like, this one on the first turn. Even if he really wanted to. All right, uh, something. I think we'll go for the Gremlin Knob. We have a lot of attacks in the deck. I guess we didn't draw that many attacks this turn though. Cause I think getting this one down will help us a lot. Obtain the Relic. So we got 30 Needle, five plated armor. That's actually really good. I can get behind that. Hmm, each time you lose HP this combat. Okay. And we're gonna bash him and just go for this. They are doing a ton of damage. Uh and the mushroom. Get everything on the field at once. Oh that aftershock kicked in. I forgot about that one. So I really want him dead. Um draw two cards and gain one energy. Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, so I would need, I could play both of these and then kill him. So that's what we will do. It's a weird way to go about it, but it works. Um, exhaust any one non-curse card. I think, yeah, because we got a lot of slimes. Let's get the slimes out of there. All right, so we want to kill this one, so wild strike. And then, yeah, we will hit you with Languid. 
Weak, frail. Let's go with frailty this time. We went weak last time. Because, yeah, this turn doesn't matter a whole lot what we do. Um, let's go with gremlins this time. Well, they have more health than I was expecting out of them. For being Jonist. 10 damage and weak. I guess you are the one I'd want dead the most. Alright, so two more turns. It looks like we have to survive. Okay. Take two damage four times. Um, let's just go for it. Oh, that does hurt our plated armor, apparently. Pretty bad. Apply two weak to you. Six damage all enemies. Oh, I can kill him. I, I did that wrong. Which I am going to do still. And do I want to strike? I got eight. Eight plus six. I can't really kill one more, so we'll go ahead and do that. Oh, we're at 50%, so we can't take any debuffs. Hex confused or slowed. I don't think it matters. We'll do Hex, but I don't, yeah, I don't think we can take it. Nice. That dead. You're down. Okay. And obtain one move. Let's just... I wish I knew what health we were at. I'd rather take... Oh, we survived it. It was not fun if we were taking that damage. Hit you. Okay, and hit you again. Okay. Continue. Gosh dang. Add two wounds to me. Alright, she is leaving. So we got through this one. A little harder than I was kind of expecting it to be. All right, mini hand to your hand. Interesting. I kind of want to try that. Come on, energy at the start of your turn. Raise your ascension by five. Ooh, that'd be rough. Less map? Eh. I can, neither one of these are very exciting to me. Climb a four, heal six HP. I think we'll do less map in information. Five levels of Ascension is going to be really well. We'll try it. We'll try the, the Ascension one. We're already at Ascension one, so this puts us at Ascension six. Uh, we'll go to the city again. Dang it. Again with the mus Musketeer. All right. Another. So they're doing six. Let's see what we can get from this. Yeah, I need more benefit from that. All right. You're done. Yeah, like some feel no pains or something. Give me more reason to uh, cycle through more. Uh, bring back the sword boomerang. Pommel. Sword boomerang. Yeah, I dropped those two. And while they're down, let's kill one. Okay. So many hands. Let's do, try that. So we get a bunch that do one times two. But they also apply that debuff, so if you stack them, it does a lot more, I think. Yeah, it does. Interesting. I don't think hemogenesis, hemogenesis keep saying geno, genos, like a One Punch Man, I don't think that was the right call for a card to add. But, you know, we're doing it. I think another strike from hell would be good. Obtain a relic. Curse, 85 gold. We'll do that. And we got super capacity coin every time you gain gold. All right, so we need to save up gold pretty much. Hidden compartment. Okay, we've already read that one. We read it last time at the start of each combat. Remove a card from your draw pile. The first time you shuffle your draw pile, this car, uh, shuffle that card into your hand. First time you shuffle it. So let's do Eclipse in that one. So we can get out some of our stuff first. And I think this is going to be where we use this to start with. Okay. And so it has four stacks of that. Oh, and it shuffles every time. 
dice do. Interesting. Okay. Ooh, so every time we lose it with while it's in our hand. So yeah, this is the one we kind of want. So they both kind of swap when you do this. Okay. Aftershock. So I just really want to uh, hit this one card a lot. Oh, and this one got upgraded. Nice. So yeah, we want to kill this one off. Deal the damage back to that one. Touch the undeath. Um, let's shrug. Offering. Bash. Oh, I should have flexed first. Strike. True grid out. Something at random. Many hands. Yeah, this one's just like a, a weird, weird re-roll for these dice. Uh, exhaust it. We'll do that. So, again, I think Eclipse does better on the second shuffle. Alright, Carnage. And then Strike from Hell. Oh, I had another one. What did I get another? Carnage was two. Oh, I got... I got I have uh, four energy. Derp. Alright, so I really want to stack the damage on this dude. And then we will... Armaments the Havoc, make it zero. We'll play it. First shrug. That works. The three damage for each charge. Okay. Alright, now we can Eclipse. Seems like a good Eclipse hand, actually. Oh, another Carnage. So they take a ton. Lose all strength, and this is affected five times. Well, that kind of sucks. And lose. Target enemy loses nine. Interesting. That card comes up a lot. That other one we just seen. All right. I think that's all we can do that turn. <clears throat> Not as good as I would really have liked. All right. Many hands. Okay. And then Havoc. Play the strike. And then strike from hell. Okay. So 14 more. Kind of sucks. But we should, we'll heal up actually right here. And then deal. Oh, I don't think I have enough. I don't. That really stinks. At that point, the heal might not have been worth it. Need to upgrade Carnage. Um, I like Ghostly Armor a lot. It's a good one. Okay. With 46, we will try this one. Okay. I think the same thing with Eclipse. Um, let's carnage away you. Get you out of here. Ghostly armor. Mini hands plus does refund one in exhaustive three. Okay. I don't think I'm going to play that yet. Start working on the angry dude. Try to get the board clean. I'm afraid he's going to attack this turn. He is for 30. Of course he's attacking for 30. Why wouldn't he? I think we will drink this. Um, I'm going to get to play one, two more. I don't think I could kill this boy. I could do eight, a little over 18. So I don't, I don't think I can do 27. Which tells me I should uh, hit him with the vulnerability. Oh. Okay, let's have it. Armament on this, I guess. All right, you need to get out of here. This is going to be a hard fight for us. Yeah. 30 more damage coming in. Whew. I got to eclipse. Like, I need like a miracle. Thunderclap. Um, I can kill one of these. 27 damage. Kill. I think I'll actually put that on him. 18 here. Just all non-attack cards. Five block for each. Well, all I have is attack cards. So I kills them all, but we still die. <sighs> Another good try. Guess we will rotate through, but that's going to have to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, you can hit that like button or subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.